Well, I was at a company and the company asked me to do something that I couldn't do. And when I told the boss that I couldn't do it, he said, think about it. I'll get somebody else to do it. All you have to do is A. I said, no, I can't do it. And so that weekend I decided to leave the company. Now I'm not going to have any work because I'm leaving a company where I'm doing very well. And I knew that I left for the right reasons because I can't allow anyone to let me do something that is unethical or immoral or that's against my code or my own standard, regardless if it's I have to leave money or walk away from something. And I did. And that was one weekend. The next week, a recruiter called me and said, Anthony, I have this position. It's not open yet, but it will be open. I said, what? What are you talking about? He said, I'm the recruiter, just got out of a meeting. There's an opening that is, that is here. It's, it is district vice president of this region. He said, I need you to call Tim Battis, what's his name? And I called Tim Battis when we hung up and I said, Tim, I'm applying for the position. Tim said, well, how do you know about the position? I said, it's open, right? He said, yeah, but I haven't even posted it. I said, good, you will not need to post. I'm your guy. He said, okay, send me all of your information. I sent Tim all of my information. Tim said, wow, this is impressive, but I, I, I at least need to open it up. I said, why do you need to open it up when the position isn't really even open, Tim? I said, but here I am at your doorsteps. I said, why don't you consider it an angel, a gift, or whatever you want to call it? I said, but I've just made your job easy. I have the credentials. I have the background. I have the resume. What's stopping you, Tim? He says, well, let me do one thing. He went and talked to his bosses. They came back and said, I tell you what, Anthony, if you're going to take this position, here's what we want you to do. We want you to tell us in 90 days what you're going to do to turn this place around. We need you to put it together. We want you to put A, B, C, and D. I said, okay. I said, is there any training? He said, no, there's no training. We're hiring you for your mind. I said, okay, give me to the weekend and I'll have it to you. Well, the weekend I put together a 90 day plan. I showed them from A to Z what I was going to do to empower that place what I was going to do to empower all the employees and what I was going to do to bring unity in a place that had dysfunction and discombobulation. I put it together. He was amazed. He said, wow, this is an amazing proposal. I said, listen, just hire me. He hired me on the spot. When he hired me, he said, here's the salary. Now, here's, here's ironic. This is where my guts and boldness came. He showed me what the salary was. And yes, it was way over six digits. No question. I had the nerve to tell him that ain't enough. He said, what? I said, that's not enough. I need you to take that up at least $15,000 more. And I need a signing bonus. He said, how much? I said, $30,000. He said, what? I offered you the job. I said, you're right. You saw what I can do. He said, so listen, I know my worth. I know my value. And I promise you, you will not be disappointed. He said, I got to think about that. Think about it. He called me back. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to bump it up to 20000 I said, great. I said, what about the signing bonus? He said, you got it. Not only did I get my raise, Immediately, not only did I get the signing bonus, immediately I turned the place around and it was successful. That's my story and I'm sticking to it.